it will continue to be a very sluggish environment, um, although it's, it's different around the world. I mean, when you look at our business in, in Asia, we've had 16 quarters in a row of positive traffic and positive sales. So that would by far and away be the brightest spot f for us. Uh, Latin America would be very similar in terms of, if you look at the Brazil, Argentina, Chile, sort of the southern cone. Uh, the two most sluggish parts for us would be the U.S. and Western Europe. Both of those uh, really unemployment and underemployment weighs heavily uh, on the environment there. Okay, so talk to me about uh, what was said on the conference call. Burger King sees flat to marginal increase in uh, fiscal year 2011 earnings. When do you think Burger King might be able to break through and see some increases in sales and earnings? Well, I, I think that's all a function of the, of the macro economy. I mean, you know, given the fact that we actually had four down quarters of sales this last year, which for us ended on June 30th, uh, our EBITDA, our cash flow, was actually up. Uh, slightly. So we managed to make a little bit more money even in a tough environment. But I think for us to return to sort of double digit cash flow growth that we certainly enjoyed the first few years we were public, we need to see unemployment uh, come down in the U.S. and we need to see that happen in some of the key European markets as well. Okay, well, talk to me about Europe, uh, John. You know, we have a, a debt crisis taking place, Ireland being downgraded and people worried about the euro. Do you see tougher conditions in the European side, on the European side, say in the next few uh, years or months ahead? Yes, I, I, I do, or at least I worry about that. I mean, given a lot of the austerity programs a lot of governments have put in place, you know, I think about Ireland, the UK, Spain, a lot of the safety nets and safety programs that have been uh, reduced, I, I, you know, I worry that's going to have impact, obviously, on, on uh, consumer sentiment or consumer confidence, uh, and will potentially, you know, hurt sales as well. So, I, I think we've got a few challenging quarters, at least, in front of us in that part of the world.